Prince Harry's official page on the royal family's website has been updated after a major mistake was noticed recently. The British media reported that Prince Harry still had his Her Royal Highness title on his page, even though he and Meghan agreed to give it up when they left their senior roles in the royal family in 2020. However, after The Express pointed this out on Friday, the palace seems to have corrected his page and removed the His Royal Highness. Hello and a very warm welcome to British Royal Daily Updates YouTube channel. The Express also claimed that there was another big error on the website. Harry was described as the youngest son of the Prince of Wales, which is a title that his father, Charles, gave to Prince William when he became the king almost a year ago. Meanwhile, William and Kate also got their titles changed from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge to the Prince and Princess of Wales. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were also moved down on the main page of the royal family, below the working members of the monarchy but above Prince Andrew, who has been involved in a scandal. This comes after Prince Harry's Her Royal Highness title was taken off a Kensington Palace exhibition in June 2021, after some royal fans noticed it. The Sun said at that time that the title was mistakenly left on a sign next to Princess Diana's wedding dress, which said, lent by Her Royal Highness the Duke of Cambridge and Her Royal Highness the Duke of Sussex. A few days later, the sign was changed to reflect Harry's new title. Harry probably did not pay much attention to the website change, as he is currently on a busy trip to Asia. The Duke arrived in Tokyo on Tuesday, wearing a casual black t-shirt and a baseball cap with an Archule logo. He was accompanied by his good friend, professional polo player Ignacio Nacho Figueres. Meghan did not join Harry on his trip to Asia with their two young children, and stayed in California instead. Harry and Figueres are in Japan for the ISB Sports Value Summit Special Edition this week, which celebrates the impact of sport, community and philanthropy. They will then travel to Singapore to play in a charity polo match for Centibale. Harry's solo work trip comes after the news that he and Meghan will turn a best-selling book into a Hollywood movie in their first big deal since their Spotify agreement was cancelled. Page Six reports that Netflix paid for the rights, and the couple's production company will produce the film. The couple's first off-camera project for the streaming service is a significant change from their previous personal documentaries such as Harry and Meghan and Live to Lead, and the upcoming Heart of Invictus. The book they chose to adapt is Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune, a popular romantic novel that cost about $5.8 million. It is a love story about a couple who meet in their 30s and deals with issues such as childhood trauma from losing a parent in a car accident, mental health and postnatal depression. It is set near Toronto in Canada, where Meghan used to live. The couple were captivated by the themes of the book and decided to make it their first adaptation with Netflix, a source told the publication. Remember to subscribe to British Royal Daily Updates YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when we drop a video, stay safe.